Hi guys, <clears throat> so I uh, decided to do this uh, big one uh, with the uh, the Windsor and Newton. I've already got my background color nicely mixed and I'm going to add a lot of different colors but I was thinking of doing it a different way. I'm going to put the uh, the colors in this little bottle and then just go over the background color. I'm going to do something like that. Let's put a little bit of water in here just to thin it up a little bit. So I'm going to make this uh, nice and quick. I'm not going to do the sides. I'll do them later. But I just want to give it a nice full layer of background color. And I can see there's silicone in here because I see all the little dots popping up. But that's okay. We'll work that out later. Oops. So I need a lot of that in the middle here. There it is. That's enough. And then I'm going to fill the little cup with color. Well, the, I, it's not a cup. It's Of course, it's a little bottle. Okay, so here goes nothing. There's a lot of, I can't really shake it too much because then there's not going to be a lot of color coming out. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little bit broader, especially here in the middle here, because I sort of like what's going on here. Okay, that's some really nice cells. We're going to make it move a little bit more. That's about it. And then I want to have something going off in the background. So I'm going to give it a little bit of paint along the sides, making sure not to touch the colors. I'm going to do the same around here. Ooh, there's a little drop that has to go.
Okay, only you gotta fix this splatter here because we don't like that. Well, that might turn it to be difficult. Let's see how we get rid of this. And a little bit down there. Okay, that's enough. Now I can bring back the paint. Clean off the brush and spread it out. Okay, that's working fine. Now when this is dry, it'll be all flat. It'll flatten out. I sort of like that feathery, uh, feathery look on the sides, but I would like a little bit more of the uh, little cells popping up here and there. That looks okay. A little bit down here, I missed here a little. I think I'd like a little bit more up here. Gotta make sure that's covered. Okay. Where's the little bottle? And one down here. Now splattered it all over here again. Okay, can't have everything. Oops, a little bit of contamination here. Okay, I think it's ready now. Now it has a, a little bit more, it's a little bit more balanced. As you can see, really pretty cells. But the background, because it has the silicone in it, that's not really working out. So I'll have to uh, do a little overpainting when once this is dry. But what I do like is how the intensity of the colors is in the middle and more it feathers out you see more background color so it fades into the background that I do like so we'll just see how this dries up and we will um, then address these parts the background where the uh, silicone pops through that's why um, we don't put silicone in the background color because um, it will give you those uh, spots that we really like in colors but not in background color so I'm trying to smooth it out again, but it'll just go back to the uh, that cell-like structure, I'm pretty sure, but that's okay. It's going to come to the surface anyway. Once it's dry, all the silicone is up, and we can take it off, and then we can uh, 
make sure that the background is nice and smooth so for now guys I'll give you a close-up of the uh, cells and I'm gonna wish you a great weekend okay here we go these are the cells lots of colors and here you can see how it fades into the background sort of down here too see how there are only really thin lines at the bottom it's really pretty I like the colors see that's what you get when you get put the uh, silicone in the background color so uh, if you can try to avoid that because that just doesn't work but the rest is pretty cool we could fix that so thanks all for watching guys love you all to pieces leave a see you in the next one bye bye